class so in today's class we are doing another cocktail fascinator and this is the shape we're going to be doing it with you're going to be molding this on a mannequin head okay if you are in my class i have already provided a stencil and that is the cocktail number three so you can pick on that one and then we work with it but if you're just joining us on this video, I'm going to show you how to generate this stencil. So let's take the measurement of the stencil um, vertical and then horizontal. So vertical is going to be 22.5 centimeters. And then we'll take the widest part going horizontal. And that is going to be 19 centimeters. Okay. So I'm going to fold my paper into two just because I want to center it. At least have an idea of exactly where the midpoints are and work from there. So I know that the vertical measurement was 22.5 centimeters. I'm going to draw in that one. And then our horizontal measurement, the widest bit, uh, that was around this bit here. And I'm going to try and locate that and put a point there. So that is. 19 centimeters and is around this midpoint i'm going to measure from the top so let's say that's about 14 centimeters and it's at that point that i'm going to be drawing my cross or horizontal measurement okay so i'll put a point here and then i know that it was 19 centimeters so um nine plus nine is 18 so that's going to be 9.5 and that gives us 19 so i'm going to put my ruler at the center here 9.5 and draw across it like that to 19 centimeters from here right up to there okay so at this point you just you can just make like a diamond shape and then from there we start to round it off at that point okay So we are going to at this point it's just freehand if you like you can just do this bit cut it out and then trace it on this side i'm going to show you exactly what i mean by that in a minute but you can just use freehand okay so this is what i meant by you cut one half out fold it on itself like that and then trace the other end out as well okay so there we have it our shape let me turn it we'll put it where so you can see it properly so that is a shape we have it okay before we carry on i would like to say if you've been with us for a while thank you very much for sticking with us and if you're watching us for the first time today that is subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded so let's get on with today's project i have my bird cage net i also have my cinema okay then i'm going to be using my mannequin head the polystyrene mannequin head i would also need um, some pins to help me in my blocking okay you need some feathers as well I'm just going to have all of those on standby. I would also need some beads for embellishment and then some petals. Okay, some petals to help us in our embellishment and some flowers, our millinery wire, and then our needle, of course, our needle and our thread. Okay, like I said earlier, I don't know exactly what I'm creating today. I have a fair idea of it that I'm going to be making a fascinator with this shape. You're going to mold it on the mannequin head just so that we'll have it uh, molded and not laying flat like the other fascinator we did earlier on, I think in our second class. So hopefully we'll come out with something beautiful today and um, we'll all enjoy the project. So let's get on with it, with the molding. Okay. Okay, so the size of cinnamon I'm working with today is 22 inches by 18 inches. Okay, I'm going to fold it onto itself. 
from one corner to the other put it on a cross grain we are going to be cutting our shape at this bit here okay and then the bottom bit is what we are going to be using as our bias strip to finish off the edge of our fascinator so i'm going to start blocking this up here now what i want to do now to make my life easy is just to put some pins in place to hold this together so this is what i'm going to be working with okay yeah, that will do i'm going to go ahead to wet this so that it becomes soft enough for me to stretch on the mannequin head and do the blocking on the mannequin head then after that we put this as a shape over it and then we cut it out i'll do that in a minute for you to see first put a pin in the center of it and like you know what how blocking is usually done you do the north and you do the north south east and west okay so that is how i'm going to be doing it as usual and then you come and do the east and west positions then you spread it okay and when you've done that you're going to be spreading it in in between and at every point you put a pin there to hold it okay so i've just done my blocking as you can see um you try and make sure that you don't have folds of these corners okay so you just spread them out if it's too um, difficult you just put a little bit of water to soften it and then you spread it out and then you put your pins in so this is what you you need to do okay i'm going to try and put some uh, stiffener and from what you know from the previous video is a mixture of your pva glue and water okay so you either do one part pva glue to three parts water or one part pva glue to four parts water whatever you want to do okay then when you've done that you've mixed it up you just try and brush it over your stretched piece all over it and then i'll allow it to dry in the sun whilst we come back and prepare our millinery wire okay okay whilst we wait for our cinema to dry up and then take the shape of our mold let's measure up um, the circumference of this shape okay so just so that we know the length of millinery wire we are going to use so i'm going to take my measure all the way around this shape we will have an approximate length then we can work with it from there okay so we have four and um, 24 inches i'm going to cut my memory wire to about 26 inches right and then we will take it from there okay so now our wire is cut at 26 inches i'm going to set it aside now and then let's work on some strips for finishing off the edge of our fascinator okay so i'm going to be measuring as usual we're going to measure two inches all along it and then i'll cut it out okay so i have my two inches strip that i cut from the edge okay i'm going to cut that into two so that we can make two ribbons from this strip so you have these two strips both of them are two inches. I'm going to set one aside and work with one first. When we finish, we bring the other one back. So I'll fold it into two. Just to find the center of this strip. All the way through. Right. I think we've done this uh, procedure in a few of our videos. When you want to finish the edge of your heart or fascinator so when you've done this and uh, you know where the middle line is you fold half of this bit here half of it towards the center all the way through 
then you fold the other half also towards the center all the way through so when you bring it together you should have a strip finished strip like this that you can use to finish off the edge of your fascinator now this is what your strip of cinnamon should look like after you folded it okay so it should look like this okay now when you've done this you see that your strip is very rigid and straight but because you're going to be using it around the edges of this in a curve you want to try and then bend it over like that you pull it and then you bend it towards you when you do that then it's able to conform and then wrap around the edge of your cinnamon because if you don't if you don't do that the edges are very very rigid and it will be difficult for you to lay them beautifully around the edge of your cinnamon i'll show you in a minute what i mean by that okay you see that now that we have it looking in this shape it's easier to have it go round the edge of our thing you get it than when it was rigid so when we have to sew it down it's not too difficult to do that so if you think it's not enough you can always go in some more you just pull it and bend pull and bend pull and bend in that manner all the way through and that will be it okay now let's go ahead and do some beads and some buttons and set them on the side just in case um we need things like that so for your leaves you just have to cut a triangle shape right i'm going to show you how to do one and then you would be able to do them in multiple sizes okay so you just only have to cut a triangle but make sure that the top bit as mine is longer a bit so that we can shape it in the form of a leaf now when you're doing your leaf you can either roll the edge or fold the edge depending on whatever you want to do but always remember to cut it on a bias okay so if you look at it my grain is going in a crisscross direction that proves that it's on a bias okay so what i'm going to do is just do a fold single fold at the edge just fold it in slightly do the same on this side as well okay then we do a second fold to secure the edge of your leaf so I, like i said you can either roll it so when you are rolling it you just be rolling the edge you just be rolling the edge like this but it means that you have to make your cinnamon softer so you have to moist it or use your steam to make it softer to be able to do the rolled effect but i will go ahead and just fold it down because you only need to finish the edge and this also gives it a finished edge as well so you just fold it twice on both edges the edge pointed a bit like that you can always twist this in place if it's too long we'll cut it off in the end but this is what we need to get it first stage then the next thing is just to kind of fold the bottom bit like this okay so we have our leaf you can always put an eye on to this just to keep it down before you come and fold it like that at the edge and then you try and bend it so we have our leaf you can do it big you can do it small whatever size you want to do it is entirely up to you okay so this is how to make a leaf you can do a number of them and use it if this bit is too long you can just cut it off slightly but then that is how we do our leaves in so you can use a needle to stitch this bit down so that it holds it in place and you can do multiple sizes for your leaf okay so we've done some leaves so as you can see we've done some leaves here let's go ahead and learn how to do some uh, buttons and beads with cinnamon 
okay now i want to say that when your cinnamon pieces are left don't throw them away you can always use them for these little embellishments so we've done some leaves you're going to do some buttons and some beads now let's start with doing a squarish button then we'll take it from there okay so first of all you just cut a piece of cinnamon in a square we'll start our first one like that and then you fold it all the way around into a square we want to make it a bit bigger so we'll wrap our next cinnamon around it right so as you can see it i'm going to wrap it around it on all four corners and then by doing that you increase the size of your of your button right so you can do multiple buttons and beads if you want to do a rounded bead, you just start off by trying to make a ball with your cinnamon bits like that. So you try and wrap it all the way around it. And then you twist it. When you're sure of the size you have, you just twist it into a ball. You just work it into a ball like that and then when you finish you cut the excess fabric off that you don't need so you can do multiple beads and ribbons you get it and stick them on top of it like that when you do this and you have any of your petals going through that that looks beautiful so we're going to do, i'm going to do more beads try and do more beads so that we can work them together with some petals because that give a beautiful effect okay so now we've taken it off the mold it's dried as you can see we've taken it off the mold what is left for us to do now is to get the shape of our fascinator out of what we have here so i'm going to pin the ends together and then cut it around this shape and then we are good to go okay so this is what we have i really like the way this is turning out i like it so what is left for us to do now is to shape our fascinator okay so i'm going to bring my millinery wire back here and then we're going to start shaping it from here so i'm just going to act this bit here make a point here like that okay and try and take the rest all the way round okay we're going to start sewing and then as we go around i believe it's going to shape itself properly so i'm stitching with my needle and my fisherman's cord not 0.25 okay i'm going to start stitching at this bit here and then shape it around as I go ahead. So I'm on the double and I've made my knot. I'm going to go in. But I'm not going to pull all of my thread. I'm going to leave some. Come back in. As you can see. Go through this knot and then pull it to lock it in. So I've locked in my first stitch. Okay. And remember all the time. Our longer stitches stay in. And then our shorter stitches go out. So I'm going to be stitching longer in shorter out so this is my longer stage and when i go back out i'm just picking just a little bit over here come back in make my longer stitches here when you finish stitching in the wire then you bring back your cinnamon band stitches. and stitch it around so I'm going to carry on your in that cinnamon manner base. Until so you are going to be I carrying on stitching it then I'll bring longer it stitches in, see. shorter stitches out like we always do. Okay? Okay. let's see how i did the pet the petals in the leaves okay 
Let's see how I stitched them in the leaves. Like that. So before you gather your leaf and then put a stitch through it, you get a, a bunch of a bunch of your petals. Okay. You twist it a little bit and then put it on a fold like that. Find the center wherever you want to place it. And then bring them all together. And then at that point, you put your stitch in place. Okay, so I, I think I'm going to stick with just four of the petals. I'm going to go ahead and stitch them in place like that. I'll put a stitch inside rather than put um, use glue. So I'm going to be stitching it here and here. Every petal I put on top of it, I'll just stitch it in two places here and there. So I'm done with what I want to do. Okay. Okay, so I've stitched all of my leaves to it at the bottom. I'm going to wait to put a few stitches in here to keep this bit close. So it'll be the eye-catching bit. Okay, so I had my flower this way. I took the stalk out and I cut off the leaves because I felt the leaves were kind of a bit off with the color. So I'll just have it just plain like this. And I'm going to stitch it in place at this corner here with my needle. Okay, so the next thing I have done is, so this is what I have now. This is the stage I am at with it. The next thing is to cut uh, 12 inches length of bed cage net. Bring them together at both ends like that. Okay, twist it slightly. Not too much, just a little bit. Bring the ends together. And then push it underneath one of the leaves is just to create uh, a break in the color pattern and also give it a blend as well so i just picked up a different color that will blend with everything else king hearts is all about creativity so you may not have to do exactly what i am doing you know with regards to the embellishment you may not have to do exactly what I'm doing. You may have to do something different that will also look good. So it's, it's entirely up to you. Then I'm going to be stitching one of these. Okay, so this is the final effect. I've done some pearl arrangement over here. I've also done a few feathers here and there. We have our ribbon and we have that. So this is it. This is the inner bit as well. So you have a clip going this way and then you should have a comb going across here i don't have a comb at the minute across here to hold it all the way down because it's supposed to sit on top of your head and on part of your face and i'm going to try and bring my mannequin so this is how it should look so that is it for today hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give our video a thumbs up and don't forget to share as well and hit on the notification bell to be notified when a new episode is released until we meet again in our next video have a lovely day